<laughs> Friday night foobar. Front row fanatics. We're talking about God knows who knows whatever. I don't remember what the hell I said in the first three segments or whatever, but right now we're just going to start talking about some of our favorite wrestlers in the area and the local indie promotions. We're not going to restrict it to one promotion. No it's promotion, just... just guys that we like. So, Internet, you can start it off because I'm the drunk bastard and that's just the way it is. <laughs> uh, one of the guys, first and foremost, I want to talk about is the Master of Devastation, Cameron Frost. Um, I think he will and he should be the next guy from our area to take it to the next level, the next step. I think he's earned it. He is a tremendous wrestler. He tells a story in the ring. Uh, I like everything about Cameron Frost, and I just, I just, you know, man crush, whatever you want to call it. Absolutely. I, I won't lie. I am a MOD mark. Just like I said, I was a BTY <laughs> mark. I don't give a shit when anybody says, hey, you're smooching BTY's ass, or you're smooching Cameron Frost's ass, whatever. Cameron Frost is a guy I've been watching for the last seven years. I've watched him evolve in his career. I believe he has what it takes to make it to the next level, like Colby Godwin, like yes. Coach Jordan, Paul Jordan, who is now in FCW there in uh, Tampa. You know, he has what it takes to go to the next level. Always entertaining. Cool as shit guy, always takes time out for the fans, yeah. has athletic ability, has a good look, he has mic skills, he can do what needs to be done. The master of devastation, Cameron Frost, a fucking number one with the gargoyle. Uh, next, I would have to say, and jump in anytime, I don't want to. All right, yeah, well. Um, one of my favorites, who I initially didn't like, but I think is cool as hell now, is the California kid. Um, you know, when I first saw him wrestle, he was Mr. Personality. And I think it was just a matter of him finding himself. Now, uh, as the Cali kid, he has put on some phenomenal matches. And, you know, when people first see him, they see this skinny little guy. Looks like, as me and Calvin used to call him, Alan Jackson on crack. You right. know. But, I mean, the guy bumps for days. He, he, uh... California kid's got it going on. I would like to see him expand his, uh... Further west into Ultimate Wrestling. Myself, yeah. he wrestles in CSW, he wrestles in New Eyes, <laughs> he wrestles w in WIW, Panama City. Love to see California Kid take a shot at Ultimate Man. Yeah. Won, he won CSW's Most Improved Wrestler last year. Talented. I've seen the guy lead buckets. I've seen him wrestle technical matches. Yeah. Dig me some California Kid. But, you know, improve the ring gear. That's all I got to say. <laughs> Uh, next, let's see, I'm going to talk about probably the best tag team on the Gulf Coast. I don't even have to say their name. Who am I talking about? First String. First String. And I only said that because I knew what internet was thinking. You know <laughs> I'm an elite man myself. Anyway. Yes, I mean, uh, pretty much any tag team from Mossy Head is... is uh, Wait, I thought the uh, elite was no more. They are no more at this particular junction, but don't piss me off. Don't, don't, <laughs> bring, off don't, bring, don't bring my goddamn buzz down now. I'm pissed at my close personal You're, friend. Yeah, who, I'm pissed at my close David personal Prime. friend, David Prime, for turning on the Master of Devastation. I will see you and deal with you at fucking Mossy Head next fucking Saturday. But, uh, first string, yeah, I... Cameron Thomas, AJ Strokes. Uh, oh my God! They uh, the, the they first also time, have uh, what's the young guy's name? The the junior varsity. Yeah, team. junior varsity. Chase Evans. Chase Evans, I, Chase I, believe Evans I believe working in there. But these guys, the first time I saw them at CSW, they came out and got so much heat. It was oh unbelievable. These guys, great in ring work, <coughs> great interaction with the crowd. Um, I believe in WIW, they're baby faces. Right. Which. Doesn't work for me, but no. nonetheless, those guys, tremendous heel tag team. Uh, I would like to see them in any promotion. I, w I would. Another one of those guys I'd like to see head west to ultimate their dudes. Uh, yeah. yeah, that would be you awesome. Know, AJ Strokes, man, he's been banging my mom for a long time until she <laughs> wore him out, and even with Viagra, he couldn't hang anymore. So you know, maybe you ought to send that young boy Chase Evans. He's still got some natural juice left to you know hang with the gargoyle's mom or whatever, but. Love me some first string, you know. Whether we, I, I can truly appreciate their efforts in the ring, they've been tag team champions in GAWF, WIW, uh, CSW. Don't know if they've been it in uh, NHW yet or not, but uh, anywhere they go, first string is definitely worth watching on the card. And if, while we're throwing in CSW tag teams, uh, Initial Shock, Extreme G, JT Angel, uh, very good tag team, and then uh, who else? Uh, 
Former tag team, my close personal friend David Prime and Cameron Frost, the elite, which are not split up. And Dave, dude, first you went and hung out with Mike Metal and Victor Crew. Now you're, oh man, dude, it must be the fucking Alabama shit in you, man, with that Alabama <laughs> t-shirt. Roll go, Tide. Go Gators, baby. That's all I got to say. Anyway, well, yeah, you brought it up, uh, Mike Metal and Victor Crew. Crew, Satis Kingdom, another uh, very successful tag team. It's one of those tag teams like you have the big bruiser and Mike Metal. And then the smaller guy, Victor Crew, and Mike Metal, I have to say, one of the most agile big men in the business. I've seen that guy do some stuff cruiserweights normally would do. Absolutely. People talk shit, you know, and these mossy head guys, whatever. Mike Metal and Victor Crew are a solid tag team, you know, that they've held the belts in CSW. I'm pretty sure they've held them in Dirty South. I'm not sure at this particular junction right now because I'm drinking whiskey and I don't really care. But, you know, another good entertaining tag team, you know, along the Gulf Coast. I like me some Brutal Joe Gibson. Yeah. You know, yeah. the Brutal one, you know. Princess Alicia's personal favorite wrestler, you know, has come a long way in a short period of time. Uh, Omega, who I'm glad to see is returning to the yeah. Gulf Coast. I'm, I'm kind of interested to see how he does, you know. Uh, we've always, I was more of a fan of the Cyrus LeVay. I wasn't right. real big on the Omega gimmick. But, same guy, same great in-ring work. Uh tremendously over with the crowd. I mean, un unbelievably. I was like, wow, I cannot believe it. But uh, I'll be interested to see what he can do. Hopefully, maybe, we'll start seeing him at Ultimate, which is the promotion we probably frequent the most. Right. But any promotion would be lucky to have a, a Mega. And he's back in CSW oh. regularly now, so looking forward to seeing him in action tagging with, uh, I believe, Cameron Frost against David Prime and Dorian. Wow. So uh, I'm looking forward to that. I want to give a shout out to Dorian. What's up, man? Yo. Why you bust <laughs> why you busting up the elite, Dorian, man, you know? I'm not giving you no more beer in the parking lot. So. <laughs> well, who who else can we talk about? I like Mr. Fantasy. Yeah, Mr. Fantasy's awesome. Another guy who can really piss the crowd, work the crowd off, you know. That show we went to where he just had droves of people there. What was that? That was uh, this his Southern Wrestling Alliance yes. in Crestview. There was 300 people there. Plus easily, easily, easily. And uh, well-run show, well-organized. He's got it going on. Love me some Mr. Fantasy. Uh, you know, we could sit here and go on and on and on and on, you know, as the producer's tapping her leg. I don't know, is that a tap that we need to get to wrap it up or what's going on, man? I got a buzz. I don't know. What, you, what the hell you want? Give just, us some signals. I just did. I just told you. You had two minutes. Now two, you're two. She says. Hey, there's uh, one guy still in the studio audience, still alive, man. Yeah. <laughs> the other I'm going to throw out video uh, games. Donnie B real quick. Uh, Donnie okay. B, another guy. Uh, Alexander York. Yes. Who recently retired, you know, but I think he's going to be the secret general manager in this WIW show tomorrow, so. Forget you know. yeah. uh, A couple of honorable mentions. Milo, always. Psycho Milo. Love me some Psycho Milo. Uh, a, a guy I've recently become a big fan of. The big deal, Ryan Holland. I got to give a shout out to him. I've been really enjoyed the last few matches I've seen him in. Love uh, me some Scotty Rays, man. Scotty Rays. But where's your brother, Evil Billy, at, man? We got to wrap it up. Okay. We'll, we'll, do, we'll bring it back. We'll do one more segment. Whoop, liquor.